Hello, everybody. This is Bentley Compost Guy Christy, and I'm just shooting a little video to show you some results from my worm castings and castings extract experiment. This was started back in January. This is now day 38 of the experiment. And this has been a pretty low-key experiment. There have been some limitations for sure, and it hasn't been super earth-shattering. But as you can see in front of me, um, things have started to change. And part of the reason I really like to kind of let things go in an experiment like this for as long as possible uh, even when it seems like not a whole lot's happening, is that castings and tea can provide some benefits, some obvious benefits over time. It's not necessarily going to be some earth shattering thing that's going to be super obvious right out of the gates. That can happen. Uh, you can see some really, really fast responses uh, to adding castings and teas to plants. But it's not always going to be the case, and, and it's good not to assume that that's necessarily going to happen. So with this particular experiment, uh, this is alfalfa, and I'll talk in a minute why it might not have been the best choice. But anyway, I, I chose alfalfa. I happen to have some seeds for sprouting, and early on, everything looked very, very similar in all of these treatments and we'll talk about what treatments they are in a second but basically everything germinated around the same time uh, the germination success was very similar a similar number of plants germinated in the pots and just the growth in general um, <clears throat> was quite similar early on now i want to mention right off the bat that the uh, growth situation in my house was uh, definitely limited. It wasn't an ideal situation. Uh, for quite some time, I was using just kind of like an incandescent a floor lamp as my light source down in the basement. It's fairly cool in the basement. Uh, I did end up putting these plants uh, on my seedling grow mat, my, my warmer. So that helped. And I actually ended up getting myself a little tiny uh, grow light. It's a sort of a double head grow light that I got from Amazon. And I think that has kind of helped. Like with an experiment like this, you want to provide the plants. Uh, you meet their basic needs for sure, if you can. Give them really good light. Uh, obviously, you want to keep them watered, all that sort of stuff. So anyway, like I said, things kind of started to change over time. Um, as far as the treatments go, uh, this first one right here is the Castings T, 20% treatment. Uh, this one here is the actual warm castings. I use 25% mixture of castings in this potting soil. This one back here is just the, the control treatment. It's just a plain water with the same potting soil. And this last one was definitely a surprise. This was this commercial um, fertilizer, organic liquid fertilizer. I don't want to give them a bad name or anything, but uh, that's it over there. And it has been terrible. No, I'm really, really kicking myself. I threw this one in at the last minute. It wasn't even going to be part of the experiment. And I didn't get the same size pot. So, I mean, right off the bat, I'm... Um, kind of uh, messing things up. But I can't imagine that that is what led to this, just the size of the pot. I, I don't imagine that um, that's the main cause of the problem. But clearly something's not going right here. Uh, I should mention that this stuff is pretty old. It's been sitting around for a while. So who's to say 
Um, you know, what might have happened to it just sitting there. But anyway, clearly that one, they're hanging in there, but they're, they're not doing well. I do want to point out really quickly that that is not the only thing this, this pot or any of these pots have received. Okay, it's, it's not a situation where I've only been watering with the uh, tea. Uh, a lot of my watering has actually just been with plain water. And as you might imagine, you know, with the castings treatment, which already has the castings right in the pot, that can potentially be an advantage because, you know, every time you water with regular water, you're kind of uh, liquidating, you know, the, the, the asset that's, that's in there already. Whereas, you know, the tea is only going to get the benefit when you're adding the tea. But anyway, clearly the tea and the castings treatments have done well over the long haul. And I'm going to mention that the water treatment was kind of neck and neck for a while there. It was doing fairly well. This is a soil mix that has a compost in it of some sort. Um, and, you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier was this potential limitation of using alfalfa. And that's the fact that these are legumes. So they are fixing their own nitrogen. So you're going to kind of offset the benefits of the castings in the tea when the plants are are actually uh, creating their own nitrogen and I, maybe that's a good thing so it sort of sort of evens things out everybody's getting some nitrogen and so whatever happens above and beyond that you know you can you can say that the castings in the tea are, are likely a result of that or likely uh, causing that so yeah so the, the water's done okay but uh, you can see there's some spotting of the leaves there. And it's not clearly not as robust as these two. The castings is interesting. It's sort of somewhat smaller leaves than the tea. But it's a nice dark green. Whereas this is a bit lighter in color. And it actually does have some spotting there as well. Overall, the tea experiment or the tea uh, pot seems to be doing the best in terms of size but these two in general um, have clearly pulled ahead uh, of these other ones but that's pretty much it uh, you know not earth shattering but it's really really interesting to see what has happened in a month and what I will really be interested to see next is how the roots look like once it comes time to end the experiment I'm really interested to see how much root, root growth there is down below. Um, and one thing I may try is kind of drought resistance. Something I've discovered by accident in the past with a, a casting experiment was that I, I completely forgot about um, some little seedlings that I had left. And the ones that had been treated with the castings didn't die. They didn't, they didn't dry up and die they actually survived while this just the water treatment uh, died off. So I'm kind of curious to test that again. And again, just generally look at the root system uh, because castings and the tea can be quite good for uh, helping to develop a really nice, robust root system in plants. So anyway, pretty interesting, even though uh, pretty low key for quite some time. And I'll certainly be uh, writing a blog post about this as well. So you may want to check out the Red Room Composting blog to uh, see the official write-up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, this is Bentley Compost Guy Christie, and we'll be talking again soon.